Well, Tamar Braxton decided to speak out on all the ish that is going on between her and Candy and Todd. She said she really didn't want to address this matter on her birthday weekend, but she had to address it because Candy addressed it. So here she goes. Now she was with her new fiance driving back, as she said, going to work. She said the only reason why this issue came up is that she was asked by Andy Cohen on WHHTL and that's the only reason why she spoke on it. She didn't mean to cause any issues. She said that she apologized to Candy. And then Todd walked up and tried to defuse the matter, grabbed Candy, said something to her, and then looked her up and down and say, you know what it is. Now, do you consider that as... Todd being aggressive and ready to fight her or do you think that he was just grabbing candy and just simply told her you know what it is now so don't be fake or don't be in her face like you didn't do anything I don't know you guys comment below tell me what you think I would love to hear from you but before we see the clip of Tamar explaining herself, this is what Candy had to say on her IG. Let's take a look. Because Candy says Tamar always liked to throw the rock and hide her hand and play the victim. So let's take a look at what Candy said and the clip that she posted as well. What's up, y'all? I am your girl, Candy, and now I'm about to speak on it. So, ooh, 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 ooh. I'll be the victim all your life. Now, you know, Tamar Braxton had to have a comeback, and this is what she said. She said, I am the victim when your man stepped to a woman. Sounds like an abused woman to me to see nothing wrong with that. I hope he's not beating your ace. I pray for your healing. Mm, mm, mm. What do you guys have to say about that at some point? When do we stop and when do we just simply grow up and not always react to everything? Well, let's continue and let's take a look at Tamar explaining and she said that she apologized more than once. So here we go. Right. Um, first of all, there's a couple of things I wanted to address. Number one, thank you guys so much for supporting Changed and St. Tamar's Day. Um, hey, Cora. Um, I love y'all so much. Uh, but obviously, I want to address, you know, what's really going on in the press because... You know, I feel like I, I've worked really hard on myself and I can't help if somebody asks me a question, you know, and I can't help the chains of events that actually really honestly, truly happen. Now, um, it, this really all started, okay, everybody knows that I'm on Dish Nation now, right? And this really all started from a YouTube that Candy put about, put out about whatever the issues they had with Carlos King. And I was asked about it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm not like these other reality people. Like, I'm a real bona fide, five-time Emmy-nominated journalist. <laughs> Difference. So for me, I am not comfortable publicly saying or calling someone else a liar without knowing the legitimate facts. That's where I'm standing with that. Not, I wasn't on no, you know, you're not my friend. I don't want to side with you. It wasn't nothing to being messy, but my responsibility for my job and my integrity just lied in that. Or else I just would have said, oh, she lied. But really what I, what I did say is I wanted to hear both sides of the story. You know, uh, something in the milk ain't clean. Just trying to deflect from just outright calling somebody a liar. Because number one, I don't know. Number two, I don't care. Number three, it has nothing to do with me. Okay. Cool. That happened. You know, I put up a clip promoting the show from what I, from my point of view, in my story, not addressing anybody, not taking sides on nothing, because 
I, I really don't care, but it doesn't have anything else to do with me. Okay? So, weeks go by, four or five weeks go by, and we all have a concert together. And I'm leaving my dressing room to go to my dancer's dressing room to bring them their new clothes, and I see Candy in the hallway. And I'm like, hey, boo, and I give her a hug, you know, whatever, and she just look at me, and she's like, I ain't fucking with you. And I'm like, what? What? I'm thinking she's kidding. <laughs> like, I'm for real I'm thinking she's kidding. And she's like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm like, what What happened? She's like, oh, well, you said that shit you said with, about Carlos King was foul. And I'm like, oh, shit. I, I, and I honestly truly forgot about it. Right? Um, And I'm like, listen, I didn't mean no harm. You know, I, I wasn't trying to, you know, go against you or nothing like that. It's, you know, I... Just what I just explained to y'all. Like, I just feel like my responsibility is a little bit different. I ain't trying to call nobody publicly a liar when I don't know the whole story. I'm not comfortable with it. And she was like, nah, 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 nah. You said, you said, you said. And I'm like, sis, we, I'm, listen, if I offended you, I am so sorry. Like, you know, like I, I wasn't coming from that. I thought, man, you made up a big brother. You know, I wasn't coming for you. It's nothing like that. I really, truly, humbly apologize. And plus, I sent her a DM and I said, I sent you a DM, you know, when your fans was coming to my page. Um, this was a while ago, and I, I was just trying to let you know that, you know, I wasn't trying to be, you know, malicious or nothing like that. Nah, nah, nah. But you said, and you did, and then, and then, and then you doubled down and put it in your story. I said, listen, Kenny, I'm not trying to go there with you. You know, we in the middle of this hallway. And now, now by this time, people swarming around. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... This is, we ladies, we shouldn't be doing this. We can go in my dressing room. Yeah, 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 before I take it to the next level. Now, everybody know, <laughs> I ain't, you know, I ain't really here for that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm cool and I'm safe, but I do know how to whip ass. And I don't do that because I don't condone violence at all, right? And I'm like, well, take it to, what's the name of the level you want to take it to? Like, what you want to fight? Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You said, you said, he did. He did steal from us. <laughs> right? And I'm like, she is really serious right now. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Like, don't do that. First of all, I'm for Baltimore. You, we're not going to do that. You know what I mean? And I'm telling her again, it's my fourth time apologizing. I am so sorry. If this offended you, right? I wasn't trying to be malicious towards you. Now I'm saying this again. This is it all way. I'm saying this again. Nah, 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 nah. I mean, buck king. <laughs> and I'm like, and I get to the point where I'm like, look, dog, this is not a letter housewives. I'm not getting paid to sit up here and argue with you like this. I'm about to go sing everybody on this bill under the table. I got, I can't argue with you <laughs> right now. Like I finna do all that. And then, I, now I am trying to completely de-escalate the situation. It's giving bobs and <laughs> cackling and cacklings. And, like, then Tadina comes up and, like, he comes and get her. And he says something to her. And then he looks at me in my face. Y'all gonna believe this shit or not? Nigga look at me in my face and go, you know what it is. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, this is a dude. Now, I don't care. Listen, y'all don't see me grow up on the Braxton's. Y'all don't see me go at it with my sisters. Y'all don't see me, you know, kind of like sporadically go at it with Lonnie. You know what I'm saying? Like, but the truth is, in real life, I'm really a peaceful person. You know what I mean? And I like to have fun and I laugh and play jokes all the time. And so, the thing is with me, is that me and, me and Candy or me and another female can argue all day long. But when it comes to dudes in another woman's face to physically threaten them and harm them, that's when the line is drawn. That's when it's like, oh, it's not about her perception on TV. It's not about, you know, wh what we have known her to be on, on her reality life years ago. Because remember, I ain't been on reality TV for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's okay. I get it. But it's no reason for a man to ever step to a woman. Period. And 
the fact is that is what happened and the other fact is i wasn't trying to bring nothing up but you know now that i'm on you know peacock and, and bravo i went to andy's show which is he's a good friend of mine we cool you know what i mean he asked me about it because one of the fans asked me about it and i wasn't trying to bring it up and i wasn't trying to bring no drama my way because i am not on that so it's like i answered the question i tried to deflect from it and here we are but what i'm not going to stand for is people saying what did i do for a man to ever step to me period why are you nothing, shaking your head nothing you didn't do shit for no man to step to you that was a coward move and it shouldn't have happened and i addressed it with him and i spoke to him about it and he immediately apologized but an apology after the fact is bullshit especially when i'm there defenseless shouldn't because happen. he wasn't this is one of those trips where troy wasn't there jr wasn't there like i just i well rob was there james was there um but this is kind of one of those trips where we just kind of like we had like back-to-back -back shows and we just kind of got in and got out you know what i'm saying and normally and i didn't even have security you know because really global productions is like it's like sam and them is like real protective and family oriented you know what i'm saying so i really don't have a need i'm not bothered backstage like they's my family and my people you know what i'm saying so i really don't have a need to like be extra behind the scene with security and people and all that stuff like it wasn't one of those trips and then of course i didn't even know i was walking into the lions <laughs> I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? But the truth is, I'm just gonna keep it gangster with y'all. I spoke about this shit on Big Brother. Y'all called me the victim. I, she's a victim then. And Tamar always starts stuff. But go back in the clips. They didn't age well. I said what I said. You know, the reason why we had beef in the first place because that was mean as fucked me on tour. I'm very, very similar to how y'all see this SWV stuff panning out. My story. My, and I've said this back thing on Big Brother, pull the receipts. There's very much a lot of egos going on. And I ain't trying to speak about a show that I don't even watch. And the reason, the reason why I can't watch it is because of the whole sister aspect. Like, I I'm, I go through it, you know, and I went through it publicly with my own sisters. And I don't want to see Tasha and Tamika going through that. I love them. You know what I'm saying? We've all been friends for a very long time. And so I don't want, that's the only reason why I don't watch it. Because it just triggers, you know, I don't, I don't want to see that. But... Go back and watch them clips. I'm not bullshitting. I don't have to. I don't have to get on a bandwagon or nobody. I was just asked the question because I was on Watch What Happens Live, and that's all. And that's it. I don't want no drama. Don't associate with me with no drama. You know, I said what I said that night because I was angry, and it really happened. I wish I didn't even post about it on my story, but you know, being defenseless and you a woman with a man will really send you it will really send your emotions somewhere that we, we really don't have control over you know what I'm saying and I felt defenseless because I was by myself so you can believe what you want you gotta believe me I don't really care this is what happened I really don't want to speak about it no more you know but I don't have a reason to come after nobody and I don't want to fight with nobody but the devil and that's where I'm staying with it so that's that and that's it and happy birthday to me. Because <laughs> this was my birthday weekend. The only thing I really wanted to talk about this on my birthday weekend. I'll tell you, we turned up. What's up? Mm. And that's it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.